Hey, this is Jeannie with Jeannie Touch of Class Glam, and thanks for coming by again. Today I'm going to do a video on a new launch by Charlotte Tailberry. It's actually in a pretty recent but new launch. Um, at the end of last year, she um, launched the Pillow Talk collection, and it was launched as a um, limited edition. She recently um, wrote up that she was going to launch it as part of her permanent collection, and I'm so glad she did because it's absolutely beautiful. And I went ahead and I got it from Nordstrom. The girl at Nordstrom put me on the um, waiting list for it and I'm really thankful and thank you very much for doing that. Anyhow, um, without further ado, let's talk about the Pillow Talk collection. I am so excited. It's beautiful, it's pink and I love pink. It's my favorite color. So um, here's the eyeshadow quad. It's you know, her um, signature packaging comes with her initials on the front and kind of like a dark burgundy brownish um, plastic casing. Um, inside we have four gorgeous colors. Absolutely beautiful. There is a shade for all over the eye and then um, there is a shade for a pop. On this side there is a crease color and then here, this one is a outer third color. Um, this is the Pillow Talk collection. Again, it's gorgeous. It's super classy. You can do it every day. You can do it special occasion, whatever suits you. Also with this collection, I got the, the blusher. She was selling them separately or in sets. I don't think it made a difference which way you purchased it. There wasn't a discount that I remember. Um, this blush is beautiful as well. It's got a, um, it's kind of like a mauve kind of ring. And then in the center, it's just like a really pretty, shimmery, beautiful color. You can um, use them separately. She likes to do what she calls a swish using the outer ring. And then a pop using the inner um, circle. Or you can put them together and then just kind of brush them all over your cheek. Um, so she also had the Pillow Talk lipstick, but I am not a fan of that for me, so I did not purchase that. That color does not look good on me, um, although it's an absolutely beautiful color and it looks great on so many people. So um, I just didn't purchase it because I can't appreciate the way it looks on me. Um, I do have the lip pencil that I purchased and it's Lip Cheat. And, um, it's her signature packaging for her lip pencil, and it is, if you can see, kind of like a natural kind of, kind of almost like lip color, a little bit warmer than that. So it's super pretty, it's super mauve it, it just really matches the shadows and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and first um, swatch the quad. Um, the first thing we have is the all over satin color, and it's kind of a pink satin. It feels like butter when you stick your finger in it. And it's really, really super pretty. I don't know if you can see it there. I think it's gorgeous. The second um, thing I'm going to swatch is going to be the pop shade for the eye. And this is the shimmery um, pink shade, the glittery pink shade actually. And this is really pretty. She does recommend that you apply it if you can see that glitter. Ooh, so nice. So, so good, you guys. So good. These colors are beautiful. Um, the next color is a um, crease color. It's kind of like a warm, pinkish, neutral tone is what it is. It's beautiful. Here you go. And then the last color is kind of a more on the brown tone, on the brown side. Um, and this is for the corner. So there are the colors for you. I suck at swatching. I will get better at swatching. There are the colors for you. So um, the blush is swatched together. Very hard to see on my skin tone. Wow. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but yeah, you can kind of see it. Super pretty. I mean, matchy matchy. It looks just like the um, the eyeshadow. 
anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prime my eyes. I would like to get started on this and see what I can do and how it looks. I did film yesterday. Um, unbeknownst to me, the camera stopped filming. And I downloaded it onto my phone. And then I downloaded it onto the computer. And when I was watching it and getting ready to download it into iMovie to um, edit it, well, it ended much too soon. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prime my eyes with Urban Decay, um, the primer. And I am using the eyeshadow primer potion, um, the anti-aging eyeshadow potion. And I am going to put this all over my eye, up to my eyebrow. It makes it so much nicer to work with the eyeshadow. And I am putting it up a little bit also under my eye. Makes it gives a little more slip to work with. By the way, I've had some horrible issues with my right eye and I have some eyelash eyelashes missing. <laughs> um, it's not really funny, but it is what it is. Anyhow, I have some eyelashes missing and it's red and a little bit puffy still and um, it acts up on and off, and um, anyhow, I apologize for that. If things aren't looking real good on that side, I've had, um, I believe, some eczema or something on it. I don't know. That's what the doctor says. Who knows? Anyhow, it's still bugging me, and I'm still having issues with it. So, I didn't put on my concealer yet. I want to wait to put on my concealer until after I am done doing the eyeshadow. So I am going to take an IT Cosmetics brush. I am going to go into the the um, shade that's all over the bottom shade and I'm going to put that all over my lids. So pretty. This glides on so, so pretty. It's beautiful on the lid. Make sure when you do this that you're kind of looking down. And the reason being is, you know, as we get older, again, we have a little bit to contend with. And um, this way you can make sure your eyelid is more, um, the, the creases are more stretched out so you can get the color where it needs to be and you don't miss, you don't miss any place. So I went ahead and I put it on that eye. You can see it super super pretty beautiful this is the I'm having problems with so just so you know I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to apply this to the other eye now again I'm, I'm gonna look down a little which means you can there you go kind of see right up my nose huh So, for those of you that live in California, how has this weather been for you? Was the rain crazy or what? Apparently there was a tornado somewhere in uh, Northern California. Um, I don't know where, but that's what my friend told me yesterday. I'm like, holy heck, we had one a few years ago where I live. And um, I was watching it with my neighbors. <laughs> and he's... Her husband is from Oklahoma and he was totally out there filming the tornado. I was like in my closet and they're like, oh, just come over our house, it's nothing. But his mother-in-law was like totally threatening him. Get in the house with those kids. He had his two babies out with them, they were shopping. And so, yeah, he brought the kids inside and his wife and I and the kids were inside and he was out there filming it and he did put it on YouTube, so. Okay, so I have the all over lid color on. You can see it's very satiny, it's very pretty. I do like it, I do like it a lot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to go in with the crease color now, and that is the lighter shade right here. And I'm going to put that all over the crease. Right now my eyes are um, kind of hooded, so it really works well to go just slightly above the crease. Um, so that's what I'm doing, I'm going slightly above the crease and there we go. That looks nice. 
I will be blending that out a little more. I think I hear my Pooh Bear right next to me. Hi, Papa. Hi, Mr. Poppy Lovers. Okay, now I'm going to go on the other side. And I'm going to do the same thing. I don't know why this side is always a little more difficult for me. Um, it seems that it doesn't... Right in through here, it doesn't seem to go on even. So I don't know what the deal is, but I'm going to try and make it go on even today. Again, you know, I am not a professional makeup artist. Um, out of school, I did do hair and I did do um, makeup. Um, but, you know, that was so many years ago. That was like a thousand years ago, so... Not really a thousand, but feels like a thousand. I know how to do makeup, but it's a little bit challenging doing it in the monitor versus just stand, sitting in front of a mirror in your home doing it. So um, I am going to take this Sonia Kashuk brush I got yesterday. Um, and I don't see, it's just called a blending crease brush. Um, so I got this and I am going to blend out a little bit with that because I feel like it's a little heavy looking just at the very top. I have not done my eyebrows yet. That will come later. And I'm going to go in and do the other one. Do you hear my boy? He is so cute. He is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and they make the sweetest sounds in the whole wide world. I swear they're just, they couldn't be any more cuter. Any more cute. Okay, so I am taking the, this one right here. And I am going to go on the outer third with that. Where is my brush? I need a specific brush. And it is right here. So this, again, is an It Cosmetics brush. Um, it looks sturdy, but it's not. I used it for the same eye look yesterday. So I'm going in to the inner third and I'm just going to very lightly bring it in to the crease. I'm just going to add a little more. I like to pat this and the reason being again is because we are contending with um, we're contending with folds in the eye. <laughs> I'm trying to be delicate. They're wrinkles. <laughs> we're contending with wrinkles and so you just kind of have to pat it on because if you start sweeping it back and forth, your wrinkles are going to go like this, your skin, and it's not going to go where it's supposed to go. So, I mean, you can lift up and do it um, if you if you want. That works too. So you can lift up and just kind of get it in where you need to. But I, I like to kind of pat, pat it. <laughs> How did we get old? How does this happen? I don't even know. I mean, seriously? It's, it's a sad joke. It's not, it's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> oh, it's really bad. Like where everywhere you used to go, you were the youngest. Now everywhere I go, I'm like the oldest. It's crazy. You know, and my job, it's like, I'm one of the older people there. Everybody else is, is you know, younger than me. And it's like pitiful. Because you feel like you're never going to get old, and then it happens. But we're just embracing, right? I'm just kind of blending this out with the brush I used to create the crease. And I, I don't know why my dog thinks that he needs my attention right now, but he doesn't. So I'm not being mean, but I'm going to have to kind of... I'm going to have to kind of stop this video for a minute because... um. He is not going to let up, and I've got to see what the deal is. It's not even time for him to eat yet, so give me a just a minute, and I shall be back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I don't know. He stopped barking, so I'm going to let him kind of do his thing, and I want to really finish this um, this time. <laughs> 
So I'm, I went ahead and I put some of the um, lighter shade in the outer corner to the middle on both sides. Then I added some of the darker shade and then I added the shimmer um, shade right here um, to the inner corners and then brought it out a little bit to the middle of the eye. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and pack on the um, shimmer shade. She actually does it with the brush first and then um, she uses her finger, but you know what? I'm just going to use my finger. I'm going to slide it all the way to the outer corner. Oh, it's pretty. Super pretty, you guys. I feel like, wow. Can you see it? I hope you can see this good. I don't know what this is looking like to you. But, um, going ahead and doing the same thing. She did, like I said, first use the brush and then she went ahead. This is so beautiful. I mean, it looks wet. It's so, so, so pretty. So, I am going to go ahead now and put some more shimmer up top. Um, the all over shimmer that I'm going to go ahead and put that up by the eyebrow. I'm not done my eyebrows yet. And I'm going to blend it just a little more with the Sony Kashuk brush. Okay. All right. So I am now going to add some um, mascara, and I am, I have been using, and that's not my mascara, the um, Legendary Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury. Can you see it? This is really pretty. Now, I, I was using Dior for quite a few years now, and I just recently switched. I just feel like this is making my lashes look longer and prettier. Again, I'm having quite an issue with my eye, so please forgive me. Uh, the right eye will not come out well, and I'm having to be super careful with it. So, just so you know. It is what it is. I mean, my eye was so bad. Oh my gosh, it was crazy. This can get a little bit clumpy, but it kind of reminds me of the way um, Lash Paradise goes on. But um, it's a really pretty mascara. And um, it looks really good on. I mean, it makes your lashes look super long. So, okay, so mascara's on. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, I might have done this backwards, but you know what, it is what it is. I am going to contour my face, and I'm using the Charlotte um, Tilbury um, Filmstar Glow and Bronze, and I'm using the lighter one. Um, it's beautiful. It's beautiful on. It works beautifully, and I love the way it looks. It's fairly natural looking, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and contour my face. Her, this contour completely goes on so beautifully and it really just, this contour blends out so beautifully. It's almost like zero effort with it, I swear. I've never used a bronzer that's this easy to blend. Never. It's amazing. So, all right. I'm going to bronze up around the hairline. Make sure when you do your foundation, you hit 
you know, your hairline, around your hairline, your ears, because your coloring is quite different compared to um, the foundation. Oh boy, there he blows again. I'm going to do contour down here. Up, oh, there he goes. I'm going to have to stop again. I'm contouring around the neck, underneath. And you don't need a lot of this. You just need to kind of create a sh shadow. Um, I also use Laguna, and I really, really like that by NARS. But um, just because I'm doing mostly all Charlotte Tilbury, I just kind of want to stick with that. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, I'm going to have to pause this for a minute and then come right back, you guys. My little guy. I call him, he won't come here. He'll just run away. He thinks it's time to eat. Okay, you guys. So I went ahead and I finished everything off camera. I went ahead and I did my eyebrows. And I put on the Pillow Talk blush. And I swirled them together and put it on. I put on the Pillow Talk um, lip, cheat, uh, lip liner. And then I also used the... Um, KKW lip, which is a very neutral kind of beigey pink lip, and I love it. <laughs> Anyhow, so I hope you like the look. I think it turned out good. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think it's great for a day. I think it's great for night. I think you can wear it any way you want and any time that you want. Um, I don't think that it's specific to going out at night because it's such a soft, pretty look. So, anyhow, I'm really excited that you guys join me. I am sorry that I had to stop the video a couple times, which you may or may not see. Um, anyhow, I really appreciate you joining me. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know if there's something that you guys want to try. Um, Charlotte Tilbury, you know, she's high end, but there's makeup at all different price points and it's just I like this collection so I got it. Um, anyhow, please hit the subscribe button. Join me next time. I will be making another video next weekend and I hope you have a fantastic week ahead of you and it's great seeing you. Thank you so much for being with me and joining me on